the Eight Shoes Mystery. Loli said he'd meet us here? Yep, he said he needed to get his shoe fixed. <gasps> oh, look at this, Uncle. Huh. It says there's going to be a big dance recital tonight, starring Orlando Octopus and lots of other dancers. Dancing with two feet is hard enough. Imagine dancing with eight. Yeah. Loli said he'd be here. I wonder where he is. Ugh. One. You really fooled me that time. Thanks, Hucko. I thought it was a bootyful disguise. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Loli. Yay! Ah, thanks, Sam. Uh, you don't look very happy. What's wrong? Well, Loli, I've got a problem. I found this bag at my door this morning. It's got eight shoes inside, and this note was attached. It says urgent. Please shine these shoes right away and deliver them by tonight. Thank you. So what's the problem, Sam? Well, I've shined them all, but the note wasn't signed. So I don't know who to deliver them to. Hmm. You have shoes you need to deliver, but you don't know where to deliver them. That sounds to me like... a mystery! We can help you solve it, can't we? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <laughs> Gold Bug here at Sam's Shoe Repair with a fast-breaking news flash. What's the buzz in Busy Town, Huckle? Sam doesn't know who these shoes belong to. We're going to find out and solve the eight shoes mystery. Ready for it? Here goes! Huckle and the gang solve this mystery? I'm sure they will. <laughs> Get it? Sure? Goldbug out! <laughs> we'll solve the shoe mystery and deliver these for you, Sam. Come on, let's take a look at these shoes. Thanks, kids. Good luck. Bye. need all these shoes for? We've got a mystery to solve. We need to figure out who these shoes belong to. Oh, goody, a mystery. I can help. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These shoes have eight owners. No, they don't. Yes, they do. One shoe each makes eight owners. I don't think so, Pigwill. Most people wear two shoes, not just one. Loli only wears one shoe. That's right, but I'm the only one in Busy Town who wears one shoe. And these shoes are way too big to belong to me. Right. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four pairs of shoes. These shoes have four owners. Hmm. Huh. Four owners who all wear the exact same shoes? Why would they all wear the same shoes? Hmm. Maybe they belong to a sports team. That's a great idea, Sally. Let's go look around for sports teams who are missing their shoes. Let's get busy, Tim.
pig won't? Thanks. Hello. Excuse me. Do these shoes belong to you? No. <gasps> A tennis racket! I'm an expert at tennis. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. Watch. <gasps> Oops. Excuse me, Lions. Are these your shoes? Nope. Those aren't ours. <gasps> oh, I'm an expert at soccer. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. Watch. <gasps> Oops. Hooray! Hi there. Do these shoes belong to you? No, but we could use this one for our team bus. <laughs> <laughs> mm, these shoes wouldn't be very good for basketball anyway. Sure they would. I'll show you. I'm an expert at basketball. No, you aren't. <laughs> yes, I am. Watch. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> These shoes are noisy. Hmm. They've got metal on the bottom. I wonder what that's for. Why would anyone want to make that much noise walking around? Crazy, man. <gasps> hey, that sounds good. Those shoes make music. Wait, I know why those shoes have metal on the bottom. They're tap shoes. Of course. Right. <laughs> Tap shoes? For tap dancing. Tap dancing is when you dance and make tippy tappy sounds in time to the music. Like this. So the shoes don't belong to a sports team. They belong to four tap dancers. Four tap dancers who need those shoes by tonight. Maybe they need them for a dance lesson. Maybe. <gasps> Or maybe they need them because they're dancing in the recital tonight. Good thinking, Sally. I bet you're right. To the Busy Town Theater. <laughs> okay, remember, we're looking for four dancers. Eight feet means four dancers. Excuse me, are these your shoes? No. Pardon me, but are these your shoes? No! No luck, Huckle. Well, I don't get it. We asked all the groups of dancers here, but the shoes don't belong to any of them. Who else would need eight shoes? Hmm. Oh, I know whose shoes these are. Goldbug here at the Busy Town Theater, where I think Huckle is about to shoo us the answer to the eight shoes mystery. What's the scoop, Huckle? Here's what I think happened. These tap dancing shoes were left at Sam's. Not by four dancers with two feet but by one dancer with eight feet. Orlando Octopus. Of course, that makes sense. You did it, Hucko. Mystery solved. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Hucko. You can solve one, two. Nice work, but you'd better get those shoes to Orlando right away. He's already on the stage. Oh dear, oh dear. What am I going to do without my shoes? Are you looking for these, Orlando? My shoes? 
Thank you, just in time. <gasps> Can you help me put them on? Don't worry, I'll entertain the audience. I'm an expert dancer. No, you're not! Hi! <laughs> a one and a two and a... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pig Will, but I think I'll take over now. That something, Pig Will. What? Falling down! Yes, I am! The <laughs> 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 something in the woods mystery. Ranger Wendy before we set up camp. Good idea, Loli. Hi! Hi there! Hi there. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, kids. Maybe we should stick around and help you paste up this wallpaper, Ranger Wendy. <laughs> stick around. I get it. Paste is sticky. Stick around. Good one, Huckle. <laughs> Good one, Huckle. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! Now, don't worry. I can handle this on my own. Ew! Ew! That paste smells awful. Careful, kids. It's super sticky wallpaper paste. You don't want to get any on you. Go set up your camp, and I'll come by and check on you during my rounds. Okay. We'll see you later. Now we'll be able to see when it gets dark. Hey, where are Pig Will and Pig Won't? They're late. <laughs> As always. I bet they'll be here any minute. Why do you say that, Lily? Because they always get here after all the work is done. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Huckle and the others have put the tent up yet? Uh, maybe we should wait a little bit longer to give them more time to finish. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> There's a monster in the woods! No, it's not a monster. It's a creature. But it was waving its arms around like a monster. But it was making strange sounds, more like a creature. <laughs> monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Are you sure it wasn't just your imagination? No! It was real! We both saw it and heard it! Hmm. I'm not sure what you saw or heard, but I am sure of three things. One, it wasn't a monster. Two, it wasn't a creature. And three, we have a mystery to solve. Busy Town Action Bug News! Goldbug here, checking out the buzz at the Busy Town Campgrounds. What's up, Huckle? Any mysteries out here with you campers? Well, Goldbug, Big Will and Big Wonk saw something strange and scary in the woods. Ugh. And I'm going to figure out just what that strange and scary something really is. Well, get ready for it. Here goes!
stay tuned, folks, for important updates as Huckle checks the campgrounds for clues to solve the something in the woods mystery. Goldbug, out! The first thing we should do is ask Ranger Wendy. Maybe she knows what the mystery something is. Wait a second. Ranger Wendy said she was going to check on us during her rounds. She should have been here by now. You're right, Sally. I wonder why she didn't come by. Because the monster chased her off! You mean the creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Ah, oh, whatever. Come on, let's go look for Ranger Wendy. Ranger Wendy, are you here? She's not here. And look at that mess. What happened? Do you think the monster got her? No, I think the creature got her. Watch where you're stepping. Ew! <gasps> that super sticky wallpaper paste. You don't want to get any on you. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Ranger Wendy's not here, so she can't help us figure out what the scary something is. We'll just have to find more clues ourselves. Come on, let's go look. <gasps> Monster! Creature! Huh? Nothing to be scared of, guys. See? It's just a tree and a couple of fireflies. Maybe this is what you saw in the forest. No, what we saw was waving its arms around. And making strange sounds. Hmm. Okay, then. Show us where you saw the... whatever it was. But... but what if it's... Still there! Then we'll know what it is, and the mystery will be solved. Let's go! Mm -hmm. Look, our backpack! So this is where we saw the monster! Up there! You mean where we saw the creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Monster! Creature! Come on! Let's go check for clues! We'll stay here and, uh... uh... Guard our stuff in case it comes back! It's back! <laughs> the monster was right here! You mean the creature! Where is it now? I don't know. We screamed, it screamed, we ran away, it ran away. Hmm, that's strange. It doesn't sound like much of a monster or a creature if you two scared it away. Well, we are pretty good screamers, you know. Do you want to hear us? <gasps> no! We, we already, already heard you two! two. <laughs> hmm. Hey, look. What's this white stuff? <gasps> Obviously monster slime! Creature goo! Well, if it did come from the monster or creature, it's a clue. But I don't think anyone should touch it. Hey! This stuff is sticky! Uh-oh! Look! There's more goo over here. And over there, too! Try washing it off with the creek water. It looks like whatever it is was stumbling around. And running into the trees, breaking the branches. Hmm. It must have been moving around like this. It's like it couldn't see. Look! The creek water washed the monster slime off. Creature goo! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Huckle, look at this. Hmm. This looks like the wallpaper Ranger Wendy was putting up. Ew, what's that awful smell? 
It's this goo, Lily. I think I've smelled this somewhere before. <laughs> You're right, Huckle. Me too. But where? I know. This goo smells just like the super sticky paste Ranger Wendy was using to put up her wallpaper. But how did Wendy's wallpaper paste get on these trees? Maybe the monster rubbed it on the trees when it bumped into them. But what's a monster or creature or whatever it is doing with wallpaper paste all over it? Hmm. <gasps> ah! Yeah. I think I know who the monster or creature really is. So, Huckle, have you found clues in the campgrounds and solved the something in the woods mystery? I think so, Goldbug. I think the something in the woods is really Ranger Wendy. Ranger, Ranger Wendy? Wendy? That's right. Here's what I think happened. I think Ranger Wendy fell off her stepladder, spilled super sticky paste on herself, and got all wrapped up in the wallpaper. She couldn't see where she was going and bumped into the trees. That's how the paste got on them. You're absolutely right, Huckle. I couldn't see and I couldn't talk because my eyes were wallpapered, my mouth was wallpapered, all of me was wallpapered. You did it, Huckle! Mystery solved! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Book Mystery. I've got to do a report for school, and I need to find a good book about trees. Well, the library is the best place to find books. Let's go. Hi, Huckle. Hi, Sally. Hi, Vincent. Does my masterpiece look straight? Hmm. No, you need to raise that corner. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go look for my book. Now you need to raise that corner. Now it's straight. Thanks, Huckle. What do you think of it? I like it. It's very... green. Ah, I made the trees with real spinach. That's right. You always use food to make your art, don't you? Yep. I'm the only food artist in Busy Town. And that means you're the best food artist in Busy Town. See you later. Bye. I found the perfect book. It's called Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About Trees. Sounds good. Let's go find it. I'll just write down what shelf it's on. Hi oh, Lily! I thought you were a pencil. That was the point of my disguise. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, let's see. This is where the book should be. Oh, no! It's not here! Hmm, 
There's someone who can help us. The librarian. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you help us find something, please? We're looking for a book called Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About Trees. I'm afraid it's not here. Somebody took it out and it's long overdue. They probably just forgot to return it. Can you call to remind them? I would. Only I can't read the name of who signed it out. So I don't know who has the book. Hmm. The book borrower is unknown. I wonder who it could be. Hey, this sounds like... A mystery! We'll help you solve it, won't we? Yes, yes we, we will. will. Busy Town Action Bugaboo! Goldbug here. Shh. Goldbug here at the Busy Town Library, pulling another news story from the shelf. What's the buzz in Busy Town, Huckle? Sally needs a book from the library, but it's overdue, and we don't know who signed it out. We're going to find out who has the book and solve the borrowed book mystery. Ready for it? Here goes! <gasps> Will Huckle and the gang close the book on this mystery? Stay tuned to find out. Goldbug out! We're looking for music books! You're supposed to be quiet in the library so other people can read. <coughs> Oops. Sorry. It was his idea. No, it wasn't. What are you doing here? We've got a mystery to solve. We're trying to figure out who borrowed the book about trees. Let's look at the sign-out book. Good idea, Oli. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sorry. There. That's the signature. But I can't read it. It sure is fancy. It makes me hungry. It does? Why? I don't know. It just does. That looks like a V, but I can't read the rest of it. So the mystery person's name starts with the letter V. This will be easy to solve. No, it won't. Yes, it will. All we have to do is look up names in the phone book that start with V. Here we are, the letter V. There must be almost a hundred names there. That was a good idea, Pigwill, but we don't have time to check out all those names. We'll have to look for other clues. Hmm. Let's check the signature again. It's written in green. None of the other names are written in green. It makes me hungry. You're always hungry. Ah! The pen that's here is blue. So the mystery person must have brought their own green pen. A really thick green pen that makes wavy lines. It looks more like it was written with a brush of some kind. I'm pretty sure the mystery person didn't use a pen. The mystery person used a brush and green paint. That's a good clue. We're going to have to figure out who we know who uses a brush and green paint. Come on, everybody. Hey, this morning I saw Janitor Joe painting his shed green. Then we'll have to visit him first. Let's get busy town. Mm. <laughs> that painting makes me hungry too. Come on, Pigwell. Perfect. Hi, Joe. Hey, kids, what's up? Did you borrow a book about trees from the library? Nope. I only take out books of poetry. Thanks, Joe. Well, I guess we're going to have to find somebody else with a green paintbrush. Come on. Uh. 
about trees from the library? Mm-mm. Nope. I only borrow mystery books. I love a good mystery. So do we. Thanks, Paul. See you later. Mistress Mouse, did you borrow a book about trees from the library? No, I just take out cookbooks with cheese recipes. Okay, thanks. Now, where is my paint tray? <laughs> we didn't step in the paint this time. We stayed far away. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> So, we didn't find the person with the green paint and brush who borrowed the book. We're back where we started. Then we've just got to look for more clues. That signature still makes me hungry. Why would a signature keep making you hungry? Mmm. Because it smells like spinach. And I love spinach. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> You're right. It does. I don't get it. Why would a signature smell like spinach? Maybe the signature wasn't made with green paint after all. Maybe it was made with green spinach juice. Spinach juice? But who would do that? Hmm. Spinach juice and a paintbrush. I know who signed out the book. You do? Who was it, Huckle? <laughs> Goldbug here. Shh. Goldbug here with the last chapter of the borrowed book mystery. Fill us in, Huckle. Here's what I think happened. The person who borrowed this book signed with a paintbrush because he's an artist. And he signed with spinach juice because he just finished creating a painting out of spinach. And the only artist in Busy Town who uses food and whose name starts with a V is... Vincent Van Gogh! Come on! See? They match perfectly. You did it, Hucko! Mystery solved! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Hucko. You can solve one, two. Did you borrow a book about trees from the library? Yes, I have it here. I was going to return it, but I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right, Vincent. Here, Sally, you can sign it out now. Now I can do my report for school. Mmm. I like this lunch. I mean, painting. <gasps> ah! ah! No eating the art! <laughs> <laughs> A missing mystery box. I can't wait to get to Buddy's bookstore. Neither can I. Oh no! Now we'll be late for sure. <gasps> Not if we take that alley. Shop is just up ahead. Oh, I want to 
wanted to be first in line to get the new Martha mystery book. Martha mystery is my most favorite mystery solver ever. Well, it looks like there are lots of other Martha mystery fans in busy town too. And look who's first in line. It's Pig Will and Pig Won't. Hi guys, look. I'm going to be the first one to get the new book. You mean I'm going to be first. And we're going to be last. Come on, guys. Let's go to the end of the line. Oh, am I ever glad to see you. Uh, don't just stand there. Come on in. Uh, hey! Wait for us! Oh! Huh? Oof. Thanks, Bunny. But we really should wait our turn. There were lots of others in line ahead of us. Pig will and Pig won't were first. Yes, two copies of the new Martha mystery book, please. Sorry, Pig won't, but I don't have any copies. Oh. Huh? That's why I pulled you in here. I need your help to solve a mystery. Did you say mystery? Uh -huh. Aha! <gasps> I can't find my box of new Martha mystery books anywhere. It just disappeared. Disappeared? Oh, dear. Missing mystery books? That sounds to me like a big mystery. Busy Town Action Bug News! This is Goldbug for Busy Town Action News, coming to you live from Bunny Rabbit's bookshop. Huckle, did I hear you say something about missing mystery books? You heard right, Goldbug. Hey, Huckle is on TV. It seems a bunny's big Boxload of the new Martha mystery books has mysteriously gone missing. Aww. But don't worry, mystery fans. We'll solve this mystery and find those missing books. Right, team? Right, Huggle? Yay! Ready for it? Here goes! Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Who, what, why? Busy Town Mystery. What happened to the missing mystery books? Stay tuned for updates. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town. Goldbug out. Well, it looks like we have some mystery solving to do. Pigwell, check out this neat pop up book. Uh, right after I check out this neat pop up book. So, Bunny, when did you last see that missing box of Martha mystery books? Oh, let's see. A delivery guy dropped it off yesterday, just after closing time. He left the box in the storage room, but it's definitely not there now. I looked all over for it. Can you tell us anything about the box, Bunny? Hmm. Just that it had the letters M.M. printed on the side. M.M.? What's that stand for? Oh, uh, why, Martha Mystery, of course. See? M.M. M. Martha Mystery. Bunny, has anyone else been in the shop since the books arrived? Uh-huh. Beverly Baboon got here just after the delivery truck left. She stayed late to make this lovely Martha Mystery display. Hmm. Since Beverly was here last night, maybe she can tell us something about the missing books. That makes sense. Do you know Beverly's address, Bunny? Sure. She lives at 6 Page Turn Lane. Great. Let's go, team. Oh. Are you guys coming with us? <laughs> 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 I think that means no. <laughs> Hi, kids. Can I help you? Huh? Oh, hi, Reggie. Uh, we're looking for Beverly Baboon. Beverly? You're close. She lives at Six Page Turn Lane, right across the street. Oh. Thanks for your help. 
No problem at all. Goodbye. Huh. Why does Page Turn Lane have two houses with the same number? <laughs> it doesn't. Look, this number must have come loose and turned upside down. It's not a six, it's a nine. See? Oh, yeah. Number nine looks like number six upside down. There. Now Reggie lives back at his old address. Number nine, page turn lane. Hello? Hmm. I thought I heard someone knock. Good morning, kids. What's up? We're trying to solve a mystery, Beverly. The new box of Martha mystery books has gone missing from Bunny's shop. And we thought you might know where it is. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, I'm afraid I don't. Martha mystery fans will be very disappointed if they can't read her new book. I know. I'm one of those fans. Is there anything I can do to help you find that box? Sure. You can come back with us to the bookshop to look for more clues. Come on, everyone. Let's get busy, too. You did a great job making this book display, Beverly. Thank you. Oh, too bad there aren't new books on it. Hmm. What's under that cloth, Beverly? It's just a box. I needed something to set the new books on, so I borrowed one from the storage room. From the storage room? Was it empty? Oh, no. It was very heavy. Hmm. What are you thinking, Huckle? I'm thinking that without knowing it, Beverly used the missing box of Martha mystery books in her display. Ta-da! Oh, I guess I was wrong. This box has WW printed on it, not MM. WW? Oh, that must be a box of Waverly Worm books. Hey, those are my favorite books. <laughs> Beverly, when you were back in the storage room last night, did you see a box with a big MM on it? No, sorry, Huckle. But why don't we go back there and have another look around? Good idea. What's happening out there? I don't know, but I think we better go have a look. Yeah. What happened, you guys? Huh? What? Did something happen? Hmm. Hey, look! W.W. Didn't these letters used to be M.M. for Martha Mystery? Yeah. That's it. Right. Pig will knock them over. Pig will put them back upside down. It's all right. No harm done. Hey, that's neat. An M becomes a W when you turn it upside down. <laughs> Just like an upside down nine becomes a six. Remember Reggie's number nine on his door? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh -huh. that's it! Pig will and pig won't. Thanks for giving me the clue I needed to solve this mystery. You're, You're welcome. welcome. What clue? But that's just a box of Waverly Worm books, Huckle. W.W., remember? I remember, Lowly. But look at the box upside down. Hey, now the two W's look like two M's. Which stands for Martha Mystery. Quick, Beverly, open the box. Huckle, what can you tell the folks at home? Well, Goldbug, here's what I think happened. I think the delivery guy left the box of new books upside down. So Beverly never saw a box with the letters MM on it. Upside down, they look like WW. Just like we thought the upside down nine on Reggie's house was six. Mystery solved. Thanks to Huckle. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. Hooray for Huckle! Of course, I couldn't have done it without my mystery solving team. There you have it, folks. Huckle and his team have closed the book on the missing mystery books mystery. This is Goldbug signing off. Oh!
Bunny, you'd better not keep those mystery fans outside waiting. You're right. But first, I want to thank the mystery fans in here. I want you each to have a free copy of the new Martha Mystery Book. Wow, thanks, Bunny. Hey, I got the first one after all. Oh, I'm, I'm second. second. No, I'm second. I, I said it first. Hey, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> of the High Jumper. On the outside? How could someone do that? It's pretty high up. Maybe with a ladder. Let's look at the grass and see if any marks were left behind. The bottom of a ladder usually leaves two marks in the grass. But there aren't any marks here. Hmm. Maybe someone jumped up to my window. Maybe. But I wonder who could jump high enough to reach up there. Look! The same sticker is on all those windows, too. Hmm. So it's not just Hilda's window. How did they get there? Looks like we have a mystery to solve. Busy Town Action Bug News! Goldbug here, reporting live for Busy Town Action News. I've just learned that Huckle and his team have a lead on a sky-high news story. Huckle, what have you found? Well, Goldbug, someone, somehow, has stuck stickers like this on the second floor windows of all these houses. Who it is and how they did it is a mystery. Yay! Oh, a mystery. mystery! Ready for it? Here goes! Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Who, what, why, how? Huckle and his team are looking up, up, up to find out who the high jumping stickerer is. Stay tuned for exciting news updates. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town. Goldbug out. Where do we look for clues first, Huckle? Well, if someone did jump high enough to be able to stick those stickers, I think the best place to start looking for clues is the Busy Town Sports Complex. The last time I was there, I saw a lot of jumping going on. Let's get busy town! Last one there is a pair! Oops, I better hurry! They 
sure are fast. Fast, yes, but not high. Let's look for athletes who are jumping. Hey, look! Did you see that? The high jump! That makes sense. The athlete whose sport is the high jump must be our mystery high jumper. This bar is high up, but not as high as my bedroom window. Right. So this high jumper doesn't jump high enough to be our mystery jumper. Hmm. Is there anyone here who can jump really high? Mm. Hey, look at that! That's high! Wow, he could reach an upstairs window easy. Looks like we came to the right place. Sorry, team. I don't think we found our high jumper yet. Why not? Huh? How come? We haven't? Watch his hands when he jumps. See? Both his hands are holding the pole. You're right. He wouldn't be able to use his hands to peel and stake stickers. Exactly. I'm going to try it out just to be sure. Pretend I'm a pole vaulter. <laughs> 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 now we know for sure, sticker stickering and pole vaulting at the same time is impossible. <laughs> <gasps> Look, the, the high, high jumper. jumper! Let's go! We're too late. Excuse me, did you see who stuck those stickers on your bus? Hmm. I wish I saw who did it. I would have stopped him. How can visitors see out of my bus windows with stickers in the way? Did you see anything at all? No, but I did hear boing, boing, boing as he ran away. Great, thanks. What makes a boing, boing, boing sound? I do when I bounce. <laughs> hey, you're like a spring. That's right. We need to start looking for clues that have springs. <gasps> Hey, maybe there are two high jumpers. And maybe they are Pig Will and Pig Won't. Let's go. I'll beat you to the end of the street. No, you won't. I'll beat you. Look up there. We're on the right track. It's another sticker. And another one there on that billboard. And there's Pig Will and Pig Won't at the end of the street. Let's go! Uh-oh, Mr. Goat doesn't seem very happy about the high jumper sticker. We better hurry and catch Big Will and Big Won't before they put up more stickers and make the whole town angry. Now look what you've done! I didn't do this. The awning was in the way. Pig Will and Pig Won't, is that you? Get us down! Hurry! Were you putting high jumper stickers on the window when you got stuck? What's a high jumper sticker? Someone's been sticking stickers just like that on windows and other high places around Busy Town. Whoever it is used springs to jump really, really high. Well, our pogo sticks have springs. But, but it, it wasn't, wasn't us! us. I guess it wasn't you, since it looks like you can't jump as high as an upstairs window on your pogo sticks. Yes, we can. I could jump ten times higher if I wanted to. Me too. Watch. Ah! Whoa! 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 Watch it. Ah! I guess we can't jump that high. Hey, look at this box. It has a high jumper design, and it's not a sticker. It's printed right on the box. What was inside? It's too small for a pogo stick. It says size eight. I wear size three. That's it. This is a shoe box. Let's go in the shoe store to look for clues about the kind of shoe that was in this box. Oh. <laughs> look at me, I'm taller now. Whoa! But I sure couldn't jump in these high heels. <laughs> <laughs> these rubber boots have a bit of bounce, but no springs. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Aha! I 
think I've got it. We found the answer. Our mystery high jumper must be wearing a pair of these shoes. I see you found our latest thing in footwear. They're called high jumpers. Would you like to try a pair on? Do high jumpers help you jump really, really high? You know it. It won't be long before everyone in Busy Town wants a pair. I've been promoting them everywhere. By promoting, do you mean you've been sticking stickers on really high places like windows? Yes, that's exactly what I did. And bus windows? Yes, a double-decker tour bus. Ah! Goldbug here, live from the Busy Town Shoe Store. Buckle, have you solved the high jumper mystery? Yep. Here's what happened. First, we figured that whoever put those stickers up so high must have been a really high jumper. Then we checked out all kinds of jumpers, but they weren't the high jumper we were looking for. Then we found an empty shoebox with the same picture as the stickers. So we came here to the shoe store and discovered the high jumper was... Me! Uh-huh. Mystery solved. Great work. Well, there you have it, folks. Huckle and his team have done it again. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Hooray for Huckle! So, do you think anyone else noticed the stickers I put up? Oh, yes. Lots of people did. And they're not very happy about it. They're not? Oh, dear. Now no one will want to buy the shoes. We can help you take all the stickers down. Really? You'll help me? Sure. Sure. Yeah, sure. Like help. You'll help. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll give you each a pair of high jumpers to make the job easier. If these helped you jump as high as a house, I should be able to jump as high as a skyscraper. I'll jump as high as the clouds. Make sure you keep your eyes open for flying pig twins. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery of the summer snowman. Oh my, it's hot. Today. It sure is. Loli, you look like you're melting. I'm not melting, but my ice cube is. <laughs> <laughs> you are one cool worm. Huh? Huh? Whoa, how strange was that? I just saw a snowman back there. Well, I'm glad you saw that snowman too. At first I thought I must be seeing things. Come on. We've got to go back and check this out. Weird. Where'd the snowman go? Looks like we have a mystery to solve. Busy Town Action Bug News. This is Goldbug reporting live for Busy Town Action News. Huckle, I've received a hot news tip about a very cool stranger in town. That's right, Goldbug. He's not just cool. He's cold. He's a snowman. A snowman on a hot summer day. That's right. It's a mystery, and we're going to solve it. Yay! Yippee! Ready for it? Here goes! What, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, Say how? Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Everybody! Who, what, when, where, why, how? Solve a mystery! Huckle and his team are going to solve the very cool mystery of the Summer Snowman. 
I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town. Goldbug, out! Where do we start looking for clues to solve this mystery, Huckle? Let's start by looking on the sidewalk where the snowman went. But a snowman doesn't leave footprints. You're right, but a snowman does leave puddles of water when he melts on a hot day like today. No puddles, Huckle. Not a drip or a drop. Hmm. So the snowman didn't melt, and we know that he didn't walk away on his own. So someone must have taken him somewhere before he melted. But where? Hmm. Someplace cold! Hmm. Now where is there a cold place in Busy Town on a hot day like this? <gasps> what about the frozen food aisle at the supermarket right over there? Quick thinking, Sally! Yeah, that's a good place to look. There's no snowman hiding behind the ice cream. It's cold enough for snowman under the frozen vegetables, but he's not in here either. Loli, did you find anything? I found a good spot to chill out on a hot summer day. <sighs> if we didn't have a mystery to solve, I could sit on these frozen peas all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready to start looking for clues again. Good. Let's head back to the sidewalk. Come on! Hi, Pig Will and Pig Walt. Hi! You guys look like you're dressed for winter. How come? We're going sledding. It snowed in the park. Huh? Snow? Snow? What? Yes, snow! We're not kidding. Let's go. That's strange. Doesn't it have to be cold outside for snow to fall? Yes, it does. So maybe, for some unknown reason, it's cold in the park. And maybe that's where someone took the snowman. Come on! I don't see the snowman anywhere. Well, that doesn't surprise me. It's just as hot here as it is everywhere else in Busy Town. A snowman would melt faster than a popsicle in a frying pan. But if it's hot, why is there snow over there? And how come the snow isn't melting? Hmm. Those are good questions. Let's check it out. Yahoo! This is the worst snow ever. I know. Our sleds won't even slide on this stuff. I don't think this is snow. It's not cold or wet, and you can't make a snowball with it. It sure looks like snow. Not if you look at it really close. You can fool them. They're just tiny paper dots. Millions of them. <gasps> hey, you're right, Sally. This is confetti. No wonder it's not melting in this heat. Where did it come from? The, the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of snow clouds and rain clouds, but I've never heard of confetti clouds. <sighs> That's where the confetti is coming from. A big sack. We noticed you were spreading a lot of confetti around. What's it for? We're getting ready to make a television commercial, <gasps> and we need to make it look like winter. That's cool! Wow! <sighs> I'm hotter than a hot dog. <sighs> and me too. I'll bet this big fan would cool us off. Turn it on, Pigwell. I'm not turning it on. You turn it on. I'm not turning it on. You turn it on. Let's both turn it on! Ah. What's your commercial about? It's an ice cream commercial. Hey, if you need an actor, I can do a great imitation of an ice cream scoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Hey! 
you're blowing my confetti all over the place. Oops, sorry. Uh-oh. Ice cream! Huh? Wow! Oh, it's gigantic! Yummy ice cream! <laughs> I need that ice cream for my commercial. Where are they going? Once they stop rolling, ah! they'll be too dizzy to go anywhere. Come on, team. Let's get down there. Are you guys all right? I'll be all right when everything stops spinning. Oh, huh. I have an upset tummy. I don't feel like eating any ice cream now. Hmm. I don't think you'd want to eat this ice cream cone anyway. Oh. Huh? It's not cold. That's why it's not melting. Because it's not real. Gee, it sure looks real. Yes, it does. Just like that snow looked real. But it was just confetti. Hmm. What are you thinking, Huckle? Do you suppose that snowman we saw wasn't real either? Hey, we saw a snowman too! Yeah, walking to the park! Walking! Ah! Snowman can't walk, Huckle! Exactly! This is the biggest clue to our mystery yet! Goldbug here with an exciting news update on the mystery of the summer snowman. Huckle, give us the cold hard facts on this case. Here's the scoop, Goldbug. First, we saw a snowman that didn't melt. Then, Big Will and Big Won't saw a snowman walking to the park. A real snowman can't do that. But someone in a snowman costume could. And why would someone in a snowman costume be walking to the park? To be in an ice cream commercial with pretend snow and a pretend ice cream cone. That's what I think. Can you please get that ice cream cone back up the hill? My film crew are getting hot and unhappy in this heat. It's way too hot for me in this costume. You'll have to find somebody else to be your snowman. Sorry. No, wait, come back. Uh, just give me a little more time. You were right. It was someone in a snowman costume. Mystery solved. Thanks to Huckle. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. mystery-solving team. There you have it, folks. Huckle and his team have solved the mystery of the summer snowman. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busytown. Come on, everyone. Let's get this ice cream cone back up the hill. Yeah, let's do it. And cut. Great job, everyone. Especially that dancing snowman. Thanks! You said if we did a good job, you'd treat us to ice cream. Yes, I did. A double scoop for both of you. That was the deal. Huh? That's our ice cream? Aww. Oh, dear. I forgot how fast real ice cream melts on a hot summer day. 